Joined by the always dapper Daryl Evans uh, from the Kings broadcast crew. And Daryl, uh, we're heading into game five. Edmonton's up three games to one. Just what have you gleaned from this series? Third time around, three springs we're getting together and doing this. How would you describe what we've seen so far? Well, a lot of it's been very similar over the last couple of years. Uh, we've seen the strength of the Edmonton Oilers power play that has been very evident in this series. Uh, really the difference maker, in my opinion, uh, where they're outscoring the Kings 8 to nothing on special teams. So that's definitely something that really jumps to the forefront. Five on five, a lot of structure out there. But I think these are two teams that are very familiar with each other. And it's a matter of, uh, you know, working for your breaks, earning your breaks. And then when the breaks come about, take advantage of them. And, you know, both teams' goaltenders at different times in games have made some real key saves. And, and uh, those are pivotal parts of games. What's your read on, on the room and the players and, and Jim Hiller going into this situation? Because, you know, backs against the wall desperation what are you sensing from the group right now well I think it's a pretty mature group uh, you know especially most of the guys were on the team last year uh, in a similar situation that uh, you hopefully you take something from the past uh, I think with the veterans guys like Kopitar and Dowdy and Trevor Lewis that have been on cup teams and then to know you know the run that he had Arvidsson that you know you can drain from these veteran type of players but uh, yeah you know when you're in a situation when your backs are up against the wall uh, you really can't change much. I mean, you have to really trust what has gotten you to where you are today. And I think the Kings believe in their system. I think they felt they played a really good game in game four, a game that arguably could have gone either way. Yeah. It's decided on a power play. And, uh, you know, I think they feel if they come out and play that same game, they'll give themselves a good chance to win. Uh, that was interesting to watch. They seem like a dog on a bone, desperation, hockey. Is that a typical L.A. Kings game, what we saw in game four? Or did they have to deviate a little bit and change things up? I know you say stay consistent, but did they do anything different from your read on them? Not really. I think that's something, you know, somebody that follows the team every day, that's what we see pretty, you know, pretty consistently. When they're at the best of their game, that's the way they play defensively. They take away time and space. Uh, they stay out of the box. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, something that's going to be, you know, a key here again in game five. You, you can't afford to take too many penalties because then you play to the Oilers' strength. Uh, but, you know, with the structure they play defensively, uh, you know, you need a timely save. And I think Riddick did a really good job in game four. Uh, not that he was extremely busy, but he came up right. with a couple of key saves. And that, that'll be pivotal again tonight. That it'll be, you know, you make sure you get pucks out of your own zone, spend a little bit more time in the offensive zone. I think one thing that is needed much from the King standpoint is to get to those hard areas. They've right. got to get better quality chances. Even though, you know, they had more time in possession in the offensive zone, they outshot the Oilers. Uh, the quality chances are still not where they need to be, and I think that's something that has to increase. Hey, you've been through the rigors of postseason hockey, uh, obviously, back in the 80s. A miracle on Manchester, big goal there. Who are the guys that have to rise to the occasion in these moments, in these games where the season is on the line? Well, I think you have to. Your best players have to be their, you know, your best players night in and night out. But I think at this time of year, it's somebody else has to step up. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, again, guys like Kempe, Kopitar, Dowdy, they, you know, they've carried the team on their shoulders. And that's not to say the other guys haven't played well, right. but some of the other guys, uh, you know, a timely goal like Byfield, who's, you know, looking to put one in the net. He's having a, you know, solid series, doing a lot of good things, you know, playing a complete game. But getting a goal would be a big injection for yeah. this hockey club other than, you know, the guys that consistently do it. So uh, you, you're going to need everybody. I think it's going to take all four lines, six defense, and, you know, you got to get a good, good game out of your goaltender. But, uh, yeah, if you can get some scoring from, you know, down in your bottom six or maybe from back in the blue line, I think that helps your cause at the end of the night. Tight game or wide open old school hockey tonight? I think it's got to be tight. You know, uh, you know, I think, if, uh, you know, if I'm the L.A. Kings, you want to continue to keep playing to your strength. I know the Oilers will probably try to push the pace make it a little bit more run and gun uh, figured that they can out you know if they outchance the Kings that uh, they'll outscore them come the end of the night so uh, it'll be a matter of who's able to will their way to their game and discipline I think either team you know even though the Kings have yet to score in the power play in the series I don't think the Oilers want to get into a situation where they put the Kings in the power play because you know at times again Kings power play was very respectable through the course of the year you know 22 percent so they're capable of putting the puck in the net right now they're in a little bit of a you know a down curve but that can switch at any moment very true Daryl uh, next time Dress it up a little bit, okay? I would appreciate that. We're on camera here. I would. I thought it was casual Friday, so I, I will definitely turn it up for tonight's game. I'll uh, see what we got in the closet. Great stuff, Daryl Evans. That is your EST Rink Report.